Please be seated. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we have come together today to witness the marriage of Daniel and Kate, to pray for God's blessing on them, to share their joy, and to celebrate their love. <laughs> marriage is a way of life, made holy by God and blessed by the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ, celebrating with those at a wedding at Cana in Galilee. <laughs> marriage is a sign of unity. Glory <laughs> Bless them in joy and in sorrow, in life and in death. Finally, bring them to that banquet where your saints feast forever in your heavenly home. Daniel and Kate are now to enter this way of life. They will each give their consent to the other and make solemn vows. And in token of this, they will each give and receive a ring. We pray with them. <laughs> the Holy Spirit will guide and strengthen them that they may fulfill God's... <laughs> I want to be you with it. We don't need to tell you how famous Atkinson became after the show aired. After all, in 1992 alone, it was seen by almost 19 million people. Back then, these figures were even more impressive than they are today, when everyone has access to YouTube and all the movies of the world on their smartphone. It's hard to imagine how Atkinson's life changed because of his frantic popularity, but it's almost three decades have passed since then. What is he doing now? Today, we're going to tell you the most interesting facts about Mr. Bean's to this duo that the character of Mr. Bean sprang to life. In in addition to many other successful ideas. For example, early in his TV career, Rowan participated in a satirical program on the BBC. The show was called Not the Nine O'Clock News and consisted of parodies of politicians, stars and other famous people. He wrote all these sketches in collaborations with his friend Richard. And what do you think happened? In 1980, five years after graduating from college, the program's lead character, Atkinson himself, was named Man of the Year by the BBC. In addition, the program won many prestigious awards, including the International Emmy Award and the British Academy Award. Of course, Rowan was happy with the success and decided to continue his acting career. By the way, the character wasn't initially named Mr. Bean. In the original version, his name was Mr. White, and later Mr. Cauliflower. And only at the last moment, it was changed to the famous name we all know. Atkinson also has an unusual hobby, driving lorries. He even received a special CE driving license in 1981. After college, Atkinson even thought about setting up his own transport company, since after finishing his studies, he couldn't find a place in life and couldn't even talk to girls due to his peculiar facial features and speech. After the show Mr. Bean was finally launched, Atkinson was given a chance to give his first public performance, but the actor made a request. He wanted to appear in front of a French-speaking, not an English-speaking audience. For the comedian, it was necessary to see if his style of low-word comedy would appeal to viewers from other countries. The success was beyond measure. He's a genius, huh? That's what they tell me. Allowing Mr. Bean to be released in 245 countries around the world. The secret of the legendary show is the universality of the character and its behavior, which doesn't need to be explained. Although Atkinson plays a clumsy and cowardly character, in real life he loves cars and enjoys racing. His collection includes many sports cars, such as a McLaren F1 and a Renault 5 GT Turbo, as well as business class sedans such as the Skoda Superb and the Audi A8. Once he was involved in an accident during a car race, though. Unfortunately, his Aston Martin V8 Zagato ended up completely wrecked, but Atkinson didn't suffer any serious injuries. However, his career as a racer is full of successes. For example, in 2011, Atkinson participated in the filming of the world-famous show Top Gear. While driving a Kia Seed, the actor covered the track in a record time, becoming the champion of this amateur competition.
However, a year later, his record was broken by the legendary Matt LeBlanc, best known as Joey from Friends. He topped Atkinson by just one millisecond. In one minute, 40, two, one. But speaking of accidents, Atkinson broke his favorite McLaren F1 twice, in 1997 and 2011. The second time, the comedian demanded a compensation of £910,000 from the insurance company, the highest recorded compensation in British history. Subsequently, the car was sold at an auction to an anonymous British citizen for $12 million. Obviously, only Rowan Atkinson could sell a car for that amount of money after repeated breakdowns and accidents. By the way, Mr. Bean changes cars quite often. This year, for example, he sold his Mercedes-Benz 500e with an incredible mileage of more than 310,000 kilometers. That's in spite of the fact that modern Mercedes-Benz engines for passenger cars are built to last up to 250,000 kilometers. But who cares if it's the car of a world-famous star? This story proves once again that Rowan is not like Mr. Bean. He once saved a plane from crashing. In March 2001, Atkinson and his family were traveling in a private jet across Africa. Suddenly, the pilot lost consciousness. Atkinson took over and kept the plane in the air until the pilot woke up. Fortunately, the landing went smoothly. But who knows what would have happened if it wasn't for Atkinson's courage. By the way, before the incident, the actor had never seen the control system of an aircraft. If you've seen the comedy Johnny English, a James Bond parody with Atkinson in the lead role, you must remember how he meets the British Queen. In the movies, it always happens in extremely comical circumstances. But in real life, of course, it was very different. In 2013, the comedian was appointed Commander of the Order of the British Empire by Queen Elizabeth II for his contribution to drama and charity. You're probably wondering how many millions Atkinson has if he can afford such a luxurious life. According to current estimates, Atkinson's assets amount to about $130 million, even though his filmography is one of the shortest among the most famous actors in the world, all thanks to the impressive success of Mr. Bean and Johnny English, as well as the income from his small business selling cars and real estate in London and abroad. Although many years have passed since the launch of the series, it's still widely acclaimed by fans around the world. Atkinson says the Mr. Bean royalties keep filling up his bank account. That's why the 25th anniversary of the series couldn't have passed unnoticed. In 2013, Atkinson climbed into a chair on the roof of the legendary yellow mini with a teddy bear and drove through the center of London as Mr. Bean. Oh. He even passed by Buckingham Palace and bought himself an ice cream at St. James's Park, bringing to life the famous scene of the episode, Do It Yourself, Mr. Bean. Good morning. Please, would that be possible? Thank you very much. Obviously, everyone was delighted. So what is Atkinson up to today? A couple of years ago, he admitted that he dreamed of making a film featuring an elderly Mr. Bean, with all his peculiarities and dementia on top of that. Since then, however, nothing else has been heard about the project. Perhaps because a couple of years ago, Atkinson became a father for the third time at 62. The 